welcome back to the channel. Um, sun is shining for changing it, it's been raining all week. So we thought we'd go on the course, get a try and bit of practicing for the comp on Sunday. Now, a few weeks ago, there was a bit of a discussion going on on Twitter about um, the use of chippers. Some people were laughing at them, saying, you know, you should be able to chip and run with an eight iron. Um, and, you know, oops, sorry about that. You know, you shouldn't use a chipper. You know, it's not, it's not golf. But, my little argument with that is, if you come to a comp on a Sunday, or if you play normally, and you go to pieces around the green. I mean, I've done it. I thought you probably everybody's done it. You go to chip and run, you scuffed it, it's got about a yard, um, or they managed to top it, and it's gone straight through the back of the green. So, if you're like me, and you've got an extra space in your bag for a club, is it worth putting it in? So what I've done is i put it in, and we're going to try it. So the one that I've got, the sun's out behind me there, it's called an Ingu Bio Metal Chipper. I think it's German. Uh, I'll show you there if you can see it. I don't think you can see it. I don't see that yet. I think so. I've got the sun directly in my eyes, you see, so I can't really see anything. So, yeah, um, I believe it's a 38 degree loft on it. Obviously, it's got a standard grip and just a normal shaft. So, uh, true temper shaft. So, if you're like I am now, it says I'm 19 yards away from the centre of the green, I'll stick the hole here, um, they've probably got the best hole to do it on, but it's uphill, um, so I thought we'd give it a go. So we're going to chip on with five balls, just to see how close we can get to the pin. So we'll stick you down. And I would just use probably just normal grip. Obviously, you've got to give it a bit more to get it up that hill. Obviously, I think it's like any club, you've got to get used to it. It's just like a putting stroke. That's all you're doing. Obviously the loft is taking it. That was a good shot that I just it's a bit of a hill of a look. Probably a bit too hard. Well, that wasn't the best one. So we'll go see where we are. So we've got three here, as you can see, not the best in the world. Uh, we've got two at the back of the green, which obviously hit a bit harder. Now, if I was chipping on with to that, mine would probably be either a yard in front of me or a back of the green. So what we'll do, we'll try from the other side. We'll go a bit further into the rough, back of the green, and we're going to chip it onto the, uh, the green. All right, guys, so, slightly bit longer grass, off the green. Let's see what we can do. Probably hitting a bit too hard, as you can see. That one wasn't hard enough. It's a bit in between. That would have been alright if it was in the right place.
Hi guys. So, as you can see, the back of the green there, I mean, I'd be quite happy with all them. Um, obviously, it's, it's like anything, you've got to get used to the club. You know, it's like a driver, you'll get used to it. Um, once you're used to it, I'm sure it'll work wonders. So I'm going to persevere with this for another couple of weeks and see how we get on in, uh, in a couple of comps. Can I just, my head goes when I, uh, I get near a green, I'm trying to, can't try to get it too close. So, uh, yeah. So that's the uh, quick review of a little chipper. If you're thinking about getting one, if you're not, carry on doing your chipping, but, you know. Uh, I'll show you the club now, uh, close up of it so you can see it. Hey right, guys, um, I paid £10 for that off eBay. Obviously you can buy like, more expensive ones, and probably cheap ones if you wanted to. So, thank you for watching. Hope it helps. Gives you an idea. You have to remember, you turn up with a chip and somebody laughs at you, it's their problem. You know, not, uh, it's not your problem. If you enjoy the game and a chipper helps you, use it. That's all I would say. Does it matter what other people think? No. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And coming up later in the next video, what's the discussion about clothing, what you can and can't wear on a golf course. Um, so, I think I found the ultimate hack for wearing trousers and it'd be shorts on a golf course. Come back and watch that when you can and we'll see you later. Cheers for now.